Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and, vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, questions about our Truth Skin Health products, which you can find out all about at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. If you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to comment on anything we are talking about, contribute to the conversation, 866-735, uh, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the, the longevity products you're advertised or recommended on the program, you can call our phone team at 866-735-2470. Of course, you can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team by calling 866-735-2470. You can also head to my blog, criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com and sign up right off the, off the website. You can also purchase products as well off of our websites. Love to have you on my team. I can help you build your business. If you're interested in growing a longevity business, if you're entrepreneurially minded, if you want to make some money, help spreading the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you want to make some money changing lives, if you know, you're not satisfied, if you're not the kind of person who's satisfied just making money, but you want to make money helping people and making a difference, a positive difference in people's lives, longevity is for you, and we can tell you all about it. We can help you grow your business as well. Please call 866-735-2470 for more info or sign up right off our websites, criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com or brightsideben.com. All right, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We're continuing on with our topic of connected tissue, the, the interconnected, webbed, networked, integrated system that's found throughout the body. This idea that the connected tissue is an integrated whole, even though it's dispersed in various locations and occurs in different forms, is a very important idea for, for a couple of reasons. First of all, this is how acupuncture works. This is why you can get something uh, stuck into your ear and get effects on your leg. It's how something called myofascial release works as well. Because the connective tissue is an integrated whole, you can work on one part of the body and you can get effects on other parts of the body. The fact that it's an integrated whole also means that we can use building strategies for one part of the body and get effects on other parts of the body. In other words, we can use connective tissue building strategies and supplements like glucosamine, N-acetylglucosamine, hyaluronic acid, bone soup, bone broth protein. All of these have components and uh, have properties that allow us to build connective tissue. You can use these things for your arthritis and then the connective tissue that supports and strengthens your blood vessels will be uh, strengthened as well. So that means you can take your glucosamine for your arthritis, you're gonna get a better circulatory system, you'll get better heart function. We can use uh, vitamin C for our circulatory vessels and we'll be supporting the strength of our connective tissue and our brain connective tissue and our joint connective tissue and our digestive tract connective tissue. We'll have less wrinkles too because the skin's firmness and the skin's tightness and youthfulness are also functions of the health of the connective tissue. 
The connective tissue makes up about 30% of the body. You can think of it, it can actually be accurately thought of as an organ. The connective tissue can be thought of as the body's largest organ. In fact, even though we attribute that to the skin, there's far more connective tissue in the body than there is skin. And if I can take a little digression here, we're going to talk more about the idea of using supplements for your connective tissue here in a bit. But if I could take a little digression, and this is kind of interesting, it's also relevant when it comes to health. In addition to its obvious role as a support system, as a linking system that keeps everything in place, all the organs and glands in place, the connective tissue also acts as an information processing system, which is to say our connective tissue conducts energy in this very interesting fashion that scientists call semiconduction. Our connective tissue is like a semiconductor, which means it's a transistor. It's a computer chip. A computer chip is made up of zillions of transistors, millions of transistors, and a transistor is a semiconductor. Well, our connective tissue has the same function. It acts like a transistor. Yes, our connective tissue is like a computer chip. In fact, because the connective tissue has this liquid gel-like nature, it can, uh, it can change shape like a liquid or a gel can, and because our connective tissue is structured like a crystal, it is laid out from a microscopic standpoint. It's laid out in this regular parallel uh, parallel pattern. It's actually a liquid crystal semiconductor, which gives it much of the same properties as what are known as LCDs, liquid crystal displays that you find in your computer monitors and televisions and uh, instrument panels on rockets and airplanes and calculators and smartphones and plasma TVs. This is our connective tissue. If we had the detection, if we had the eyes to detect the electrical flow that's going through the connective tissue, it would look like a liquid crystal display. It would look like the kind of display that you have on your on your uh, computer monitor or on a plasma TV. This is amazing. We are, as human beings, via our connective tissue, we are like walking computers. We are like walking liquid crystal displays. And we'll be talking more about this later because this information processing capability, this computer-like capability of our connective tissue has a very important role to play in how we respond to injury, how we respond to trauma, the long-term effects of trauma, and how we heal or don't heal. The liquid nature, this gel-like nature of the connective tissue is important because if something creates a hardening effect, if something creates a hardening effect that, that, that uh, impedes the ability of this liquid gel-like substance to move and conduct, uh, conduct a flow of electrical energy, that flow is going to be impeded, information processing will be disrupted, and long-term function is going to decline. And that's where fibrosis comes in. Fibrosis interferes with the electrical flow. It's like having a it's, it's like having a computer chip that has now been adulterated. You know, when they're making computer chips at Intel or wherever they make the wherever they make computer chips, they've got to wear masks and they've got to use highly sterile techniques and they've got to have super duper clean rooms where you wear little booties because any piece of dust that gets in the way of the computer chip or the, when they're manufacturing is going to interfere with its functioning. This is what fibrosis is. Fibrosis is like an adulteration in our computer, in the computer processor, in our computer processor. It interferes with electrical energy, excessive secretion of fibers that occurs in response to chronic, over and over, long-term injury, the kind of chronic day-to-day long-term injury that occurs after nutritional deficiency, leaky gut syndrome, food toxicity, lack of oxygen, and perhaps most importantly, the reaction between sugar and the connective gel, all of this forms uh, functions as an adulterating agent that interferes with the electrical flow, the computer and information processing properties of our connective tissue. This is where pain comes in. This is where inflammation comes in. This is where loss of function comes in. If this occurs in the brain, which is super dependent on the electrical, on the uh, efficient flow of electrical energy, the result is dementia. This is why. Alzheimer's is a connective tissue problem. It's a brain connective tissue problem. Movement disorders like Parkinson's disease, same thing. Seizure disorders, same thing. Anytime you have fibrosis, you've got some kind of protective response, and that protective response, when it occurs chronic and long-term, can interfere with... uh, 
time we're back on the bright side. Got lines open for you. 844 236 6010 is our number. 844 236 6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, health, nutritional supplementation, skin health questions, connective tissue, anything uh, we're talking about today, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, we especially love hearing those. 844 236 6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, or if you want to join the Bright Side Ben team, please head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase products right off the website, and you can sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team off the website as well. And for those of you looking for high-end, super premium, powerful skin health products, head to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, take a specially long look at our retinol 5% gel, as well as our Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. All will help lighten the skin. All will help improve the condition and health of the skin, thereby the beauty and appearance of the skin. Health precedes beauty. And that's the take-home message when it comes to skin health. That's for sure. That's what I've learned in 30 years is health precedes beauty. I'm a, a healthcare professional making skincare products. I'm not a cosmetic chemist making skincare products. I'm a healthcare professional who understands cosmetic chemistry after 32 years of experience. And that's why truth treat, That's why I developed truth treatment products. And that's why truth treatment, truth treatment products work and work quickly. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, talking connective tissue the liquid crystalline nature of connective tissue. Anytime you have fibrosis, you're interfering with this liquid nature. Reading from Mei Wan Ho, who's a biochemist, who has uh, published a couple of really neat books on uh, connective tissue, papers and books on the importance of connective tissue. Uh, Mei Wan Ho, uh, M-A-E Wan, W-A-N Ho, H-O. A quote, liquid crystallinity gives organisms their characteristic flexibility, exquisite sensitivity, and responsiveness, thus optimizing the rapid, noiseless intercommunication that enables organisms to function as a coherent, coordinated whole. We are an electrical field, people, and this electrical field is conducting electrical energy and processing information. But we are not only not just electrical fields, we're walking computers, and you want to keep the system as pure as possible. Now, fibrosis and fiber formation is is an important. It plays an important role. It's a protective response. It's a way the body protects itself. It's like inflammation in your ankle when you break your ankle. This inflammatory response is critical to understand because it's important for health. But when we have long-term chronic fibrosis, long-term chronic inflammation, that's where you run into a problem. Anytime you have fibrosis, you've got a protective response. Fibrosis is about immunity. It's about protection. And the answer to taking care of fibrosis is not to shut down the immunity and the protection. It's not to take an anti-inflammatory. This is how doctors think. But it's not an appropriate response if we're going to be uh, leveraging uh, the power of the body to heal itself. You shut down inflammation, you shut down the protective response. What you got to figure out is what's causing the inflammation, what's causing the breakdown. You can think of the, uh, the body or an organ system that is fibrotic, whether it's the brain or whether it's the heart or whether it's the kidneys or whether it's the, the nervous system, as in multiple sclerosis. You could think of this, uh, this kind of uh, hardening, if you will, this fibrosis, as, a, as like a, a, the body forming a shell, a protective shell around a traumatized area. Just like a, it's, it's like the body metaphorically curling up into a hard ball, like a, like a tortoise going into its shell. And this is the hallmark sign, not just of disease, but of the aging process itself. Hardening equals aging. On the other hand, flexibility is about youth, freedom of movement, fluidity, flow. These are the marks, uh, markers of, of good health, the markers of youthfulness. Hardening is about aging. Flexibility is about youth. Hardening, fibrosis is about disease. Flexibility, freedom of movement is about health. In fact, you could apply this dichotomy of stiffness and hardening and resistance to flexibility and to flow, you can uh, apply this document to life itself, to how we live our lives. 
the ability to adapt and flow and roll with the punches, to bend without breaking, this is the key element of a good life. This is the key element of good health. This is the key element of good relationships with the world, with our loved ones, with each other. In relationships, the ability to adapt and adjust is probably the the single most important quality for having good relationships. It's the uh, single most important quality for getting along with each other, with our kids, with our parents, with our neighbors, with our friends, with our spouses. And in my opinion, the ability to be adaptable and to be fluid is the key quality to have when it comes to relating, when how we relate to the events and the circumstances and the experiences uh, in our lives. I was on Clyde Lewis's show yesterday. Maybe you heard it. We were talking about depression. The, we were talking about the mental and emotional aspects of depression. And what we said was that depression is a type of resistance. It's when we resist what is. So it's not just physical diseases that involve this, this sense of blockage and resistance and hardening. It's mental health issues and emotional health issues. Resisting what is is the ultimate cause of depression. Think about it. If you're depressed, you don't like what's happening. Now, I'm not saying you got to like everything that's going on in your life, but to resist what is is a fool's errand. Once it is, it is. And to resist it doesn't work. It's already there. And we go through our lives resisting what shows up. And this is why we get sick. And this is why we get sick physically. It's why we get sick mentally and emotionally. Not saying you got to accept every, I'm not saying that you have to accept what occurs in the sense that you may want to change it for tomorrow. You may want to change what's happening now in the future. But in the present, to resist what is occurring is a recipe for disaster. And this is where resistance becomes such a big problem in our lives. It becomes a problem in our lives mentally, emotionally, and physically, it becomes a problem as well. The notion of getting older is the, or, or of how the body ages is the accumulation of long-term hardening, long-term resistance, long-term inability to adjust. Homeostasis is the ability to adjust. This is, what, this is what the hallmark sign of a living system is the ability to adjust. Scientists call it homeostasis. That means the body's ability to pull the ups down and the downs up and keep us going in a, in a middle ground, what Buddhists call the middle way. You got to be in the middle way in the body and all living systems. This is how they work. They pull the ups, downs, and the downs up. Homeostasis, keeping things within a, a narrow window. When we're sick, that doesn't happen. And the reason that doesn't happen is because of a hardening, a resistance to flow. Now, from a mental perspective, it's crappy thinking and crappy feelings. This is what accounts for the resist emotional mental resistance. But from a physical perspective, it's sugar. It's, it's leaky gut syndrome. It's stuff getting in into the bloodstream long-term chronically through a broken-down digestive tract. It's eating the wrong foods. It's digestive toxicity. It's dysbiosis, messed up, uh, messed up uh, uh, gut bacteria. All of this leads to a condition called dirty blood. Dirty blood is the quintessential example of a fluid system that is in resistance. Dirty blood is fibrotic blood. That's when I, when I say dirty blood, I'm talking about fibrotic blood. Yes, the blood becomes fibrotic. It clogs and we don't adjust, we don't deliver. And by the way, when the blood's circulating, it's generating an electrical charge. So as this fibrotic condition occurs, we become less electrical via the blood. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We will be back with your phone calls right after this. All right, we are back on The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you've got questions about health or uh, longevity, the longevity products, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. Uh, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in a minute. On our next Bright Side episode, we will be talking about the blood and uh, the importance of the blood as a form of connective tissue. Yes, everything we've been talking about connective tissue includes the blood. The blood becomes fibrotic. The blood must be fluid, obviously. Of course, the blood has a, 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 an especially important role to play. It's probably the most important of the connective tissues because it is, uh, it is a, a homogenous unit within a homogenous unit. Connective tissue is all one unit, but within that unit, you have the blood, which goes runs from head to toe, and it is a unifying force within a unifying force, and it is majorly electrical. 
And while fibrosis anywhere is a problem, fibrosis in the blood, such as the kind that follows dirty, uh, leaky gut syndrome, when I, when I talk about dirty blood, I'm basically talking about fibrotic blood, or at least that's the, one of the major components of dirty, uh, major properties of dirty blood. It's fibrotic. Fibrosis represents protection. The blood gets, the blood gets contaminated. It protects itself by wrapping fibers around, uh, or, or, or microscopic fibers around uh, toxins. It also wraps cells around these toxins, and you end up with these things called circulating immune complexes, CICs. This is where autoimmune disease comes from, by the way. All right, we will continue this. Uh, we will continue talking about the blood and the connective tissue and fibrosis, and we'll also talk about how you can use the glucogel caps. If you're thinking ahead, if you're one, stop, one jump ahead and you think you can use the glucogel caps for your blood, you're probably right. You can use it for your blood, too. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I love this. Collagen may help protect brain against Alzheimer's disease. Well, now you know why. Collagen is a major component of connective tissue. Scientists from Gladstone Institute of Neurological Disease have discovered that collagen protects brain cells against amyloid beta proteins. That's the fibers that are responsible for, uh, or thought to be responsible, at least at the very end stage, for dementias. Of course, you guys know that it has to do with a broken, broken down connective tissue, if you've been listening to this program. Uh, use of dietary supplements remains stable in the United States, although, this is interesting, multivitamin use decreases. I don't know what that's about. Probably because we have so many specialty formulations out there now that people don't feel like they need to take just one multiple vitamin. A multiple vitamin functions as the minimum wage of, of, of uh, supplementation. It's the minimum wage. It's the basics. The mighty 90 essential nutrients are, your, uh, are like a multiple vitamin. Of course, we also have the ultimate daily, which is another multiple vitamin. Multiple vitamins are good and they're important, but in the way that minimum wage is important. Nobody wants to work for less than minimum wage. You don't want to have minimum wage. Uh, you don't want to have less than minimum wage nutrition. But in my humble opinion, you want maximum wage. You want maximum wage when it comes to money, and you want maximum wage when it comes to good health and it comes to supplementation. And this is why we have so many different ways that you can supplement. But the minimum wage is a multiple vitamin. Scientific reports, the spice of life, cinnamon cools your stomach. Adding cinnamon to your diet can cool the body up to two degrees. Heat is the enemy. The body doesn't like to run hot. The body likes to run cool and stable. Cinnamon uh, has been known for many years. Uh, on this program, we, we've been talking about it for years, but it's been known uh, traditionally, probably for centuries, as a, a, a spice that can help get you off, that can help uh, amplify sweet flavors, and it can help improve sugar metabolism. And this is part of the part of the reason, uh, part of the benefit of stabilizing blood sugar is the body doesn't run as hot. I would be putting, if I was a diabetic or I was interested in anti, um, if I was interested in anti-aging, I suppose I am, but I don't use cinnamon as much as I should. But if I was sick, or if I had blood sugar problems, I'd be putting cinnamon on everything. I put it in my smoothies. Wherever you have sweet, add some cinnamon. It will amplify the sweetness, and you'll get the benefits of the cinnamon as well. All right. 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Candy in Wisconsin. Good morning, Candy. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Hi, Ben. I called a Hi. few months ago and talked to you about uh, the ketogenic diet that I started in February. I remember. Yeah. How you doing? So, um, I'm doing good. I had, You had the uh, keto flu. You were going through the keto flu, I think, right? Was um, that you? So I got beyond that, and I had lost like 20-some pounds. Very nice. After a few months. Okay. Um, but I, had, um, I was the one that had the Crohn's and overcome that without medication. Wow, nice. Um, between 2012 and 2015, I'd say. Well, you sound um, great. You sound awesome. Yeah. I had an annual checkup this year because my last one was last year, September, and my cholesterol numbers were on the high side for the, not, uh, for the LDLC. Yeah. I, that's, I don't pay any attention to that, zero attention. I, I didn't either, really, and neither did my doctor, because she said she's sending more people down the path of ketogenic. So she started oh, nice. asking me, me questions about it all. Nice. Um, Tell so her to I, listen to the bright side. Yeah, no kidding. Um, so here's here's my concern, though, because I did start taking ALA from Puritan's Pride is the product. Okay. Love ALA. Um, and, Alpha lipoic yeah. acid, I, I imagine you're talking about, right? Yeah. And Very so important supplement. I, 
when I started taking it, I started noticing I can taste it in my breath or smell it in my breath and in my urine. And it, it did something to where every time I started having my greens, I could taste it in my spinach, the same yeah. taste. That's sulfur. Uh, so, that's sulfur you're tasting. Has okay. a sulfur. That's a sulfur. That's that's sulfur that you're tasting. It has to do with something in your digestive system. So start, start focusing on digestion. Use some apple cider vinegar. That might help you. Okay. Use, so my my potassium levels were on the high side. She said. I pay and zero attention to, to that as well. How the heck do they know it's on the high side? What they, uh, they stick it in a computer <laughs> and they see what a million people or two million people have and they compare yours to everybody else's. But how do they know yours is high for you? Uh, it was 5.2 and it's just... I don't, and listen, Cindy, with Candy, listen, listen. I, know, I don't care about the numbers. This is my point okay. to you. How do they know it's high for you? What are they comparing it to? High is just right. a word. It has to have a context. It's high compared to what? You know what I'm saying? What does it mean, exactly. High. What's it compared to? It's compared to reference ranges, normal values. This is the okay. most asinine, lazy, uh, unfair way to treat somebody, to treat them as if they're a, statistical, uh, a, a statistic or a statistical phenomena. You're not a statistic, Andy, and it's lazy medicine, and it's unfortunate because your doctor has medical bills to pay or, or medical school bills to pay. She has insurance right. to pay. She's got bills to pay, so she's got to have a way to charge you, and the only way she can charge you is by taking, looking at a bunch of uh, statistics and then comparing your particular levels to those statistics, and then she becomes this statistical example. Uh, uh, examining expert. And that's so unfair. A good doctor is supposed to look at you, not your statistics and not your electrolyte levels, unless they're dramatically, super dramatically low. And, but they could, if they were super dramatically low or high, you would be manifesting symptomology. So what's the point here? Okay. Are, are you okay? How do you feel, Candy? Oh, I've been feeling good. Um, just, you know, I'm not as hungry, and that's something where okay. I have to well, so what's, eat, so, you know, you know like, make sure you're eating more veggies. I, I would suspect if you're, if you have some mineral issue, you probably have some absorption issues. You know, you're probably okay. dealing with malabsorption. Apple cider vinegar with all your meals, bone soup and vegetable juices like they're going out of style. You're beyond so tangy I, tangerine. I can, remain, I can remain eating all the greens I like and keep yes. alpha lipoic acid while doing keto. That's not yes, a problem. of course. Okay. Now the only thing with the greens. And probably it's not even a problem because you don't want to be doing too many carbohydrates, but probably not. You can't eat that many greens. You know, you're going to you're going to get max out on the ability to eat greens way before you get too many carbs, in my opinion. Um, Candy, I got to motivate. And that's our break. Thank you for your call. Appreciate it. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll come back with more phone calls right after this on Bright Side. Okay, we are back on the Bright Side. Steve in Ontario. Good morning. What's going on, man? Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Are you in Toronto by any chance? Um, uh, Waterloo, just uh, an hour uh, west. Okay. Of There's a great health show coming up this weekend, and I'll be doing a talk on Sunday. Yeah, so, I'll see if I can make it for sure. That'd be great. Make sure you say hi. All righty. Um, All right, what's going my on? My daughter um, is dealing with a bit of an issue. She wants to lose a bit of weight, okay. and she is asking me about something that she's done some research on and asked me if I would do a bit of research on it um, regarding the uh, um, Garcinia Cambodia plant or something yep. like that? Yep, Gar Garcinia Cambodia. Right, Cambodia. Yeah. Um, now, I've done some looking at it, and I mean, it's... Silly, been silly studied, stuff. It's been around a long time. Steve, it Steve, it's si Steve, it's silly stuff. Okay. Okay. I mean, it may have a little bit of effect. It's got an active ingredient in there that has been used by bodybuilders to some effect. But if you have a weight problem, you don't have a Garcinia Cambogia problem. In okay. other words, she doesn't have a, she's not suffering from a Garcinia Cambogia deficiency issue. So it's not like you take Garcinia Cambogia and all of a sudden your biochemistry is adjusted and you lose weight. She may, best case scenario, she may lose a pound or two and she may help her blood sugar because there is some medicinal effects. But when herbs have medicinal effects, they're, they're minor. The biochemistry of the body is not dependent on herbs. And I've been tincturing herbs and, and keeping them in my pharmacy when I had a pharmacy uh, for, for years. I would keep stuff on the shelf for years. And I love herbs. I love working with plants. They're magical. But the idea that you can just plant yourself back to health 
or, or, or herbalize yourself back to health when there's some kind of health uh, biochemistry, some kind of messed up biochemistry, it's not true. It doesn't work that way. Your body is, has, has fail-safe mechanisms for not letting anything from the outside that's not a biochemical interfere with it. So yes, you can overwhelm that system with a, certainly with a prescription drug, you can overwhelm that system, but, and with an herb, maybe, but I'm not, I'm not buying any of the stuff I hear about Garcinia Cambogia. It can be supportive maybe, and it's in some supplements along with chromium and cinnamon and, and vanadium. And, uh, uh, sometimes you'll see the B vitamins and it's got some supportive properties. Maybe I think young Jeffy okay. has in a couple of products, but it's not a miracle or minor problem compared to what she should be doing. How old's your daughter? Uh, 25. Okay. How much weight does she want to lose? I think about uh, 20, 30 pounds. Okay. So first things first, you got to have her uh, uh, going low carb, high, f- low carb, first of all, okay. ideally low carb, high fat, but at least low carb. Okay. That's the first thing. Anybody who wants to lose weight quickly, go low carb. That's the quickest way to do it. Now, All if right. you go high fat and do the ketogenic diet, it's even better. But if you even do paleo, which is not quite as high in fat and a little bit more protein, you'll still get benefits. The second thing is make muscle. Muscle has more energy burning uh, capabilities than fat. So the more muscle you have, the more calories you're going to burn. So convert as, uh, uh, get as much of your tissue into lean muscle as possible. That's resistance training. All right. Okay. Low carb number one, resistance training number two. Ideally, she goes ketogenic, but even if not, low carb number one and resistance training number two. Number three, micronutrients. That is vitamins and minerals like you'll find in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Micronutrients. What that will do is that will allow her to eat less food. The more micronutrients you have, the less you want to eat because the body is more efficient at getting energy from food. So getting on, a, getting on the Beyond Tang Tangerine, vegetable juices, the healthy start pack, micronutrient supplementation. All right? The next thing is use more protein, uh, use more uh, amino acids, particularly BCAAs, branched chain amino acids, which are satiety, that is satisfaction inducing, satiety inducing. They induce satisfaction. More fiber for several reasons. Fiber does fiber swells the stomach, so it, it keeps you from uh, keep your, keeps you from eating as much. And then fiber can be reacted upon by bacteria to produce appetite suppressant compounds. This, wow. These are all much more elegant strategies for losing weight than taking a Garcinia Cambogia pill. Much okay. more powerful. Much more effective. You follow me? I do. I, okay. I, so uh, there's. I called, man, I wanted to hear it from you. All right, I appreciate it. Have her revving up. Have her uh, using uh, oxygen uh, to to stimulate the flow of blood and lymph and lymph. And also, cortisol, stress hormone, will keep you eating. If you and this is for anybody out there who's plateaued on their weight loss program, you're probably looking at a cortisol issue. This is for anyone out there who's doing everything they're supposed to be doing. Supposedly, they're eating right and ketogenic or whatever, and they still can't lose weight. You got a cortisol problem. That's a stress hormone problem, and that's where relaxation techniques become very, very important. I'm other things. All right, I'm going to motivate Steve. Thanks. Have a beautiful day, bro. Talk to you later. Man. Thanks. All right. All right, let's go to Alan in California. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, this is uh, actually my name is Jenna. I'm Al's wife. I'm calling okay. for him. Okay. He was at his um, cardiologist uh, day before yesterday, and yeah. all of he had a blood test, and it came out. He didn't. He was didn't talk to the doctor about this, but it, his. B, as in boy, NP, came out to be 844, and he has fluid on his lungs. And then the doctor went on vacation. <laughs> how, how old's your husband? He's 77. Okay, he's slowing down. The whole the movement of his body is slowing down. Stuff's starting to leak out. That's basically what you're looking at here. Now, there's a lot of things he's going to have to do, but he's 77, so we've got to do things pretty quickly here. Okay? Really healthy. Well, no, he's not. Don't say that. Oh, Okay. Well, obviously not. He's got fluid accumulating. Right. Okay. What? He may feel okay. That's great. God bless him. But you see, I, I'm not, I'm not, I didn't mean that to sound, that sounded mean. No, I didn't, no. I didn't want to sound mean, but I'm just telling you, we got to face what's going on here. Okay? okay. So he might be in good shape for a 77 year old guy. That's great. But he wants to be in better shape. Uh, he's going to have to start stimul. First thing is for, first things first, he's clogging up and stuff is leaking out. So we got to get the, the system moving. Got to get him more dynamic. I would be getting him on a rebounder as soon as possible or, an, or, or have him get a slant board or even if he wants to go all out an inversion machine where you hang upside down 
This is in the interest of, of declogging or of, of opening up the lymph. Usually when there's clogs and fluids starting to accumulate uh, in the lungs or in the, uh, uh, in the bottom of the body, things are starting to stagnate and the lymph is getting, uh, that's uh, caused by the lymph getting clogged. So opening up the lymph is important. Now if, I, if, he, if, if you want to work more in the long term, food is why lymph gets clogged. And food is why the blood system gets clogged. So he's going to have to start working with foods too. But quickly, you want him uh, hanging upside down, moving his body around, somehow opening up the uh, a clogged lymph. That makes sense? Yes, absolutely. D- deep and, deep and breathing will also I, help him. Slow, deep about, breathing. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Nutrition. He eats a lot. Yes, so let me give you some nutritional ideas here, okay? Get him on the Healthy Start Pack. Have him, doing, uh, have him eating as, le- as less, less food. As little food as he needs, always, but just less food, and get him on the Healthy Star Pack. Have him grinding up his food using protein smoothies, vegetable juices. This is all in the interest of get him getting nutrition without having to deal with too much digestion. He's probably got something going on in the digestive system. So uh, liquid nutrition, probiotics, good, ba- good bacteria, ultimate enzymes. Digestive enzymes will, will do double duty. They'll help thin his blood a little bit and they'll also improve digestion. You're working on the digestive system here. Moving his body around, I do not want to understate that. That's very, very important. And then also the deep breathing. Um, as far as nutrition go, as far as food nutrition goes, get him on bone soup and uh, vegetable juices. Okay. Aloe vera might right. help him as well. Hey, I, got, I want to get one more call in, my dear. I hope I helped you out. But think about movement, moving the body around. Things are starting to stagnate. All right? Got it. Thank you, Thank ma'am. You. Have, have, have a beautiful a day. Okay. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off there. Hey, Carl, the Truth Raider. Good morning, you, Dan. You get the last word, buddy. What's going on? All right. Hey, the pharmaceutical industry is at it again. Yes. Another miracle drug called Optivo Hydrochloride. It's supposed to be an anti-cancer drug miracle. But its side effects can include death. So tell the folks out there what you think about all these wonderful... <laughs> chemotherapy? <laughs> you talking about chemotherapy? No, it's Optivo. I believe it's, it's a medication. It's supposed to be an alternative to chemotherapy. I hadn't heard of this. Optivo? Optivo, yeah. Spell it for me. O-P-D-I-V-O. You sure it's not chemotherapy, Optivo? Um, you can check into it, but it seems like it's something that you can take it orally or something that you take as a medication. Oh, it's one of those, uh, it's one of those like Humira type things. Yeah. I think yeah. it's like an immune, it's, it, it works on shutting down the immune system. This is how they work with autoimmune disease and this is how they work with, uh, you know, rheumatoid arthritis. And now they're trying to apply it to cancer. Is that right? For lung cancer? Is that what you're talking about? Yes. That's what yeah. It's just a way to shut down the immune system. Yeah. I know. You know, that's true. basically, basically what you're talking about here. Uh, there's, there's part of the immune system that goes haywire. We end up with various diseases. You shut down the immune system. That's, that's basically the concept. Now, if you have cancer, I'm not saying don't do chemotherapy. Yeah, that's everybody has their own has to make their own decisions. But you know, if you got cancer, there's a reason why. <laughs> You want to calm the body down, not put another burden on the body to have to process, in my opinion. All right. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for listening, friends. To the Bright Side, please check out our skin health products at truthtreatments.com. And have yourselves a beautiful, wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. We will talk to you all later. Bye for now.